this progress. Damn. Welcome to week nine of Diaries of the Junk Drunken Dumbbells with Di and my sidekick Gio. Gio. Today's episode is realistic results, and one of the most common inquiries that we get here at the gym is, when am I going to see some results? The short answer is, depending on your frequency and or intensity, you want to give it between 6 to 12 weeks before you start to see changes in your muscular strength and size. Of course, how soon you see results depends on your body type, your fitness level, and your age. That's true, Gio. That's true. Although newbies to bodybuilding can pretty much just stare at a weight and their muscles are going to grow. Right, Gia? This is because the body is in such sudden shock with the new activity of exercise, so it's going to build muscle rapidly to defend itself. However, it won't take long before overtraining sets in and you'll stop seeing results or you'll even have muscle breakdown if you're not getting adequate enough rest. Yo, Gio, get some rest! Nah, I need to get my gains, baby! It's not the act of exercise that causes your body to get stronger. Exercise is actually physically, metabolically devastating to the body. But it's the body's ability to recover is where the benefits lie. You don't build muscle in the gym. You only trigger it for growth. No rest equals no... This quick progress will taper as you become fitter. So you have to keep varying your workouts. You have to keep challenging yourself, heavier weights. And this is true for somebody who's already fit and has a large amount of muscles already. This is why it's really important to get adequate rest between we each workout and also change your variables. There are some realities to be aware of, though. The odds are against you. The problem is most people will quit before they even see a single pound of muscle. The average person won't last six weeks. And I'm not saying this to dissuade you. You should actually use what I say as motivation. But it is the reality. Set realistic goals and know what to expect for yourself. Whether you're looking out to get strong, healthy, or like super sexy. Get clear on what your commitment is so that way you can continue to take action towards that goal. Look. Shop around for a gym that you're comfortable in. Yeah, and then educate yourself to be your own damn trainer. Setting a schedule for yourself is going to be really important, especially when life gets crazy. There's always going to be that occasional emergency that happens that's going to prevent you from working out. <laughs> Emergencies are part of life. The problem is people don't go to the gym one time and then you don't see them for a whole year. Stop acting like living a healthy life is such a big deal. You're attaching too much emotional judgment to just going to the gym. Just go. It can be a totally normal thing. Not an obligation, not a sacrifice, just a normal thing that you do every week. What's funny is that when you're consistent in the long term, you'll see amazing results in the short term. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in to episode 9 of Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbells with Gio and Guy and Machito. And don't forget to follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook.